Hello everyone, Sire here. Thank you so much for joining me for another Craft Roulette adventure. This is for episode 153. And the parameters are rounded edges, two blues plus two, flowers, and fussy cut. So I'm going to use a few different companies this time. And I'll try to get it on the side there so you can see. So the first one is the stamp market. And I love this big, bold sentiment that says, thank you so much. And so I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try to create a half black, half gold effect. So I'm going to heat emboss half of it. This is definitely not the most efficient way of doing it. This is just the way that popped in my head and I, I just went with it. Because as you can see, because Versify and Claire ink is very sticky, it's, it's getting everywhere. You can see it on the card. In this case, I'm not overly worried about it because I am going to cut out the sentiment. However, it still was a little bit messy and I'm sure there are lots of great ways of doing it. So don't, don't look at it as what I did, but just the technique it's, or just what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> Uh, that's what I, I guess you should uh, focus most on. But I just put some re, um, repositional tape over half of it, dumped some embossing powder on it, and then off camera I did heat set that. And now I got a half gold, half black sentiment. I really like this. And um, like I said, I'm sure there is a much more efficient way of doing that. And I'll probably figure it out. But for this, I just wanted to not stop and just keep going. So I did have a coordinating die with this. And so I cut that out as well as two other pieces because I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. I do like my um, sentiments to be about three layers. I'm also going to put some foam tape on this later. So it's going to be extra high, but the reason I do it like this is mainly for the thickness. I, I like how it feels when you have three layers. Okay, on to the next part of this card. I am going to die cut some flowers. So instead of coloring them afterwards, I'm just going to take my white cardstock and I'm going to use my pink fresh ink cubes and just color in advance. I'm not worried about how it looks because I'm going to be die cutting it. And having this cloudiness actually is kind of fun when you see it on the die cuts. So it is key lime um, and then the other color was lemon whip I believe and now I'm going to use these Elizabeth craft design flowers that I have these daffodils I really wanted to bring in the spring <laughs> for this challenge I, I can't wait for spring to come I love it and so daffodils are definitely a welcoming uh, option for this this time there's a bunch of little die pieces so like is like I said I'm just going to put them on to the card and then position them so that they're on the color that I need. For that one stem, you can see that it is half yellow, half green. That's not a problem. Yellow is such a light color that the green will, I, I'll put green back on top of it and you won't even notice. Normally I would have used an orange for this part for highlighting, but I can only use two extra colors. And so I could not bring in the orange. So I just chose a darker yellow called Marigold, which is also pink fresh. Uh, ink and I'm just using that as my highlight and then for the flowers I'm using some vintage photo which is a neutral and that is allowed. Once that is all done I'm just going to assemble all my flowers. There's one little bud here such a cute little little flower just waiting to blossom and then here are my three daffodils and they do come into three pieces so I'm just putting the, the little I'm not sure what you call those little fluffy, frilly parts together. And then I'm going to glue that down onto the base of the flower. Just as I'm going along and I see that it needs a little bit more shading, I, I will do that. I'll bring out the brush. Um, it's easier to do it now than after it is glued. Although in this case, I'm going to be doing it after I glued everything like that. But it does add a little bit of nice texture, as you can see right there. You can see just adding a little bit more marigold to the vintage photo really makes this nice, um, nice fade or dimension to it. And I'll just glue these onto the stems. The die does come with, uh, it gives you two stems per. And 
So I just cut them three, two times, and then the other one I'm gonna save for another project. Okay, what's this step now? Is this step number three or four? <laughs> I kind of lost track, but now I'm going to create my background and I'm going to fast forward this. You don't need to see me do this. Um, and I'm going to use my pink fresh colors again. And these are my two blues. So this is more of a greeny blue. And then on the other half, I'll just do the true blue where it's just a dark and a, and a lighter dark <laughs> lighter blue storm. And I'm not sure if the other one's called shower or whatnot. The interesting thing about this is my camera picks up a lot of the white uh, unevenness, but if you hold the card in, your, in front of you, you don't actually see it. I thought that was really interesting because as I was doing this, I was watching the camera. I'm like, oh, why is it not disappearing? And I tried and tried and tried. I, I cut it all out of the video, but when you actually look at the card in person, you don't see it as clearly. So I thought that was a uh, that was good to know, so I don't have to stress myself out when I'm when I'm creating these. I did spray some water on this, and that is to just create some nice distressed texture. Uh, this is because the inks are reactive to water. I'm able to do this, and then I'm going to use these almost really smooth waxy crayons. Uh, they're very almost like butter, and I would believe they're very similar to the Tim Holtz distress crayons. I've never used one, so I don't take my word on that, but that's what I would uh, that's what I would guess it would be similar to. I am going to use two colors here. The first one that you're seeing now is kind of like an olive green, and then the other one is a very dark greenish blue, but more on the blue side. It's a really dark color. And I'm just adding water, just trying to make it so that I can get a nice spray on it. This one's kind of interesting because it actually has a little bit of chunks. You can see them um, and they don't come off. So that, that was nice. It wasn't just the water effect, but also these nice solid chunky colors. And then for my fussy cut piece, I'm going to get this pink and main B and I'm going to stamp that down. The ink doesn't matter. This is just what was in front of me when I grabbed it. Any ink is fine because I'm just going to be using my pencil crayons here. In, in yellow and and a blue. So I'm still within my parameters of blue and two colors. I was going to try to create a little bit of texture on the wings, but my pencil crayon wasn't actually sharp. I was, I was being a little lazy and not sharpening it. And so it kind of, it kind of made big thick lines so it doesn't turn out as nicely as I wanted. So I just went over again with some of the lighter blue and then I'm just gonna fussy cut my B and that will be my fussy cut parameter covered. Not too bad, a little bit of bumps here, but it's, it's not, not terrible. I'm just gonna clean that up. Okay, now I got all my pieces together. It's time to build the card. I am going to put a black mat. I think this is gonna look really nice, especially because we're using black in the sentiment. And then for the rounded corners, I'm going to use my crappy chompy thing. And we're going to just glue, or cut all the corners and then glue that right on top of the black so that we just see the black corners. And I'm gonna trim off some of the sides there just to make sure that it's just the corners you see. I'm gonna take my Elizabeth Craft daisy, or not daisies, I'm sorry, daffodils, and I'm gonna glue them down to near the bottom. I'm going to be putting the sentiment right in the middle and I, I still want to see my flowers um, with a little bit of overlap. So I'll put two facing each different ways on the left, one on the right, and then I'll still need to figure out where I want to put my budding daffodil. So there we go. That's where I'm going to plan on putting it. And I'm just, I'm doing that so I know where to kind of position this next flower, the budding one. I was thinking about putting it on top, but I didn't really like it on top. So I'll try it on the bottom and then I'll try it on the left and the right. And, and But it will go into the bottom in the end because I think that, that looked the best. There we go. So let's glue that down. And then I'll add that little piece of grass, which is part of the plant as well. And I can move that anywhere I want. To prop this up, like I mentioned earlier, I am going to use some foam tape. This is foam tape from Uline. Um, it's a great product, I really like it. But once it sets, you have a little bit of room if you don't press it down, 
but once you do, it's not coming off. So you can see I put a little bit of pressure and then I had a little bit of a hard time getting it off because I need to realign it. Um, but it's still, still repositional. But once you press it down, that's it. You're not getting it off. And then I am just trimming off all those extra pieces. And there's the card. Now the final last piece is to put my fussy cut B <laughs> onto it. And I'm just going to figure out where I want to place that. And the, the hint is it's going to be on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Cute little bee. Just just flying around on the flowers. So that's it. That is my entry to Craft a Roulette episode 153. And I do hope that you enjoyed this card as much as I did making it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Craft a Roulette, it is an amazing game show. Um, happens every Friday. And pretty much they give you four randomly selected parameters one project, one color, one element, and one random. And then you get to go on your merry little way and try to create a card using these parameters. You can have as much fun as you want on this, and it will definitely encourage you to use up products in your stash that you may not have remembered you have. And um, that's, that's one of the many benefits of this show. I highly, highly recommend you check it out. So until the next time, I do hope you have a wonderful, beautiful week, and I'll talk to you all later. Take care.